uh, hi everyone and welcome back so in this video we are going to talk about uh, more on array side like on array we have a lot of methods we have a string we have array we have object and in javascript now we have a set and map also set is some kind of a data structure which uh, uh, so similar to similar to array there are sets and maps right in a set items are guaranteed to be unique in a map item consists of key value pair earlier though these kind of uh, data structures were not there in javascript but now we have a set map set guarantees the uniqueness of the elements and map is storing the values in the key value pair okay so these are the new one set and map and we have weak set weak map also we'll talk about it okay so in this video let's talk about more on array side so array to iterate on array we have a lot of methods a simple methods like index of uh, so to iterate we have like map for each simple for for in for of filter find uh, every sum reduce all these are for iterations they actually takes callback as a functions and there are other methods also like when you wanted to find element if that is in the index if that is available in the array or not like find index of includes fill to fill the array with some particular value join if array contains uh, a string then you do the array dot join it will convert it into a string okay so we'll go through all these different different methods which are helpful and whatever the operations you are doing like inserting updating deleting uh, the complexity of that is o and always but and when you do the searching in in a particular array the, the maximum complexity is log n it can be n square and log n based on your searching algorithm okay like uh, here we we will also do the sorting sorting will can take n square and log n and optimize ser searching is complexity of log n okay so let, let's talk about uh, simple different operations in an array so what we will do is uh, we'll start writing our class from here so we will can call this class is obj because in in this example we are going to treat array as an object you already know that when i'm declaring array if i just do a type of x this is also an object and i can create an array in different ways let x equal to new array okay and i can pass the argument or let y equal to simple array this is also how i can create let g equal to i can do new object and i can pass array inside this so these all are the different ways of creating objects of type array there is no such type array i mean the type of array is always an object if you see if you have the element like 1 2 3 then this array is represented as an object only here we have a 0 is the key and 1 is the value and then we have a 2 is the key and 2 is the value so this is how a uh, particular array elements are inserted as an object so they are treated as an object only and there are many ways in which you can create an array object okay so what we will do is we will talk about different operations like uh, index of last index of includes fill and then we have a map filter join find index sum every for each uh, reduce or some methods takes callback some methods just return boolean some methods just give you the index like find index of last index of and all so we'll write constructor this will be a little lengthy so we are going to talk about uh, all different array operations through the code so here we have object which is nothing but an array and i'm creating a new object and passing this object here so in this dot object i will have an array and now here i can do index of first method so index of search element i have and as find index i mean from index this is not required so we got a particular search element which we need to search so i will just run a for loop 
let i equal to 0 we are considering the starting index is 0 you can also take that as a input this dot obj dot length okay and here i have i plus plus here simple search is finding the particular element this dot obj of i if this a is equal equal to our search element then what we will do return that index return i otherwise return minus 1 if you are not able to find it then uh, find index so index of will return either index or a minus 1 right so this is the implementation of index of next we can write includes last index of is not required includes takes like search element and uh, so which element you are you are actually trying to find from a particular array it gives you a boolean value either true or false so you know the difference between index of and includes and which one you should use here we can also take another argument from index from what you are searching we are starting with that is zero only i is less than equal to uh, length so here let's try to change this a little bit here we will return the boolean not one or minus not index and minus one so in the includes what we are doing is uh, let i is zero or you can have a start index also and if start index is not there we will initialize it with a zero okay so i we have initialized with a start index and here we are running a loop so we, it's a simple while loop while i is less than this dot object dot length i mean we have to iterate till the object length okay and here we will just check if this value exists or not this dot obj of i plus plus if this is equal equal to search element it is kind of a same here we are just returning true and false instead of returning minus 1 otherwise return false okay same implementation let me forward this a little bit okay includes we have written now fill array dot prototype dot fill method is actually used to insert uh, one element uh, everywhere so here you can have a value like you wanted to fill a particular element from starting index to end index so start can be a zero or and you can provide and index otherwise and index will always be this dot object dot length minus one this will be your end index here what we will do is let i equal to start index and uh, we are doing a do while loop so in the do while loop let me just think about it how we are going to do it so object of i so whatever the value we have so we have this object this dot object and i plus plus so this is the value we are going to assign to all the elements which are falling in this particular range and do this till i is less than or equal to end okay i mean starting index to the end index keep doing this and finally uh, return this dot object object okay so fill uh, fill is this and then find index find index of all these things are there okay find index is another method what it does is it actually gives you the index so there is an index of method which will give you either minus one or uh, index of the uh, element okay index of and it is a find index find index will give you the key okay and find index takes callback it's not simply which is returning true false or boolean okay find index it takes callback okay here what we need to do like it's talk i'm talking about now the map filter reduce sum every all these functions takes callback if i talk about another method which is like for each right what you do is for each also takes callback callback then we have map 
so what what is common like map is always going to return us a new array whenever you do a map onto an array so i will create an empty object and i will just run a for loop onto this const key const key uh in this dot object because this is an object we are running a for in loop into this and what we are doing object of key every element will get updated based on callback you are running i mean based on the output from the callback function by passing this dot object of key and uh, the key element i mean the index value so this is how new value will be evaluated and finally will return object so same thing is in the for each the only difference is there we are actually updating this existing object only we are not creating a new object for each is only used for iteration right so here we can remove this initialization so here we are doing the changes on this dot object dot key we are running a for in loop and returning this dot object similarly the find index find index filter is also there uh, now if you write the filter method the only change between filter and map is filter actually check compare the condition right based on what callback is returning so here we will i will put if condition based on this expression if this element returns out as a true right then only i will assign of it also returns the new array this dot obj of key and we are returning the object right so this is my filter function so this is kind of a custom logic they uh, you can enter encounter and you have to write this kind of a logic here we have a sum so sum actually uh, will check a uh, one particular condition is being satisfied by any of the element or not so here it is sum in sum what we are doing we are iterating on to the loop and we are just checking uh checking means we are doing this we are checking a callback condition if this is being satisfied then we will return true otherwise return false okay similarly there is another method every it means each and every function should satisfy the condition otherwise it will return false like in the array element all the values are greater than 5 so this particular callback condition should satisfy so what you will do is if this condition is getting satisfied inside a for loop you will do continue uh continue else if this condition is not satisfied you will return false okay and finally you will return true okay a simple logic Uh, here it is every not sum, so we have implemented sum and every both. It is also callback, so it will just check each and every element in array should satisfy this callback function condition. If it is keeps returning true, that means we are good, and finally we will return true. Okay. Similarly, there is a reduce, map, filter, sum, every, uh, find, find index, find index of includes, last index of. These are some some of the methods which you will use in your uh coding which you are going to write for algorithms right even a simple problem you will end up iterating the elements because most of the problem statements you will end up creating array or a string or an object okay uh that's it let's uh, discover more questions these are just like baseline questions where i was talking about object array map set strings now we will start solving the actual problems okay thanks everyone